Hi, my name is Steen, and um, a lot of people have been asking me how you actually do uh, pinning in OVM. So I actually wanted to do this tutorial to show you how uh, you actually do uh, CPU pinning in OVM. So as you will see here, I actually have two pools. I have a Spark pool and an x86 pool. We're going to concentrate on the x86 pool. And as you will see here, I have a the x86 pool. I only have one physical system or one physical OBS server in this uh, system currently. So I'm going to look at the physical topology of this uh, OBS server itself. And it has eight threads. It has a, it's a two dual core AMD CPUs that are in the system. And as you will see here, I'm now going to do... Uh, take one of my uh, uh, unassigned virtual machines and put it into the pool and then we're going to try to start it up and we'll see how it looks when we haven't done any CPU pinning so, so I have the system here and as you see here max two CPUs or two max two virtual CPUs I'm going to start up the system here you go and then we're going to look at the console itself to see how it actually looks. Uh, it's going to do a CPU, vCPU list. And you'll see here I have it's set for 0 to 3. So it's set to one of the uh, four cores I have in the systems. So I haven't done any actual CPU pinning uh, uh, currently. So which we will now uh, stop the system and we'll do the CPU pinning. So I'm going to show you how that is done. Uh, first, before we do that, I actually want to show you uh, if I just uh, minimize the amount of virtual CPUs, how it actually looks in the OV, uh, OVM uh, on the OVS server itself. Uh, so we'll take the console again here, and then we're just going to type in vCPU list, and you will see here that now it's uh, it has one, but the other one is, is, is uh, uh, yeah set out so it's still done so now let's do the actual CPU pinning itself to be able to do the actual CPU pinning you have to stop the system this is important uh, or else it won't read the VM CFT file which w is where we're gonna do the uh, pinning itself so to be able to locate uh, which virtual machine a virtual uh, ID you've been given you have to go in and see which ID it has and then you're gonna go to the shared uh, uh, the repository where you have what's called uh, uh, the uh, virtual machines itself and uh, let's see, see here and then we have the beginning of uh, the ID and then uh, I know the rest of it and that and then we are now can edit the VMCT uh, VMCFT file and it, this is where we need to add a line uh, called uh, CPU S uh, equals the amount of uh, cores we want to have uh, the system set for. So in this case, I'm going to set it for uh, uh, zero and one. So the two first of the uh, 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 CPUs in the systems, and then we're going to uh, write this file. This is important that, as I said, that you stop the system uh, for it to be able to uh, read the VMC. VM CFD file. This is also why uh, you can you can't do live migration. But if you do live migration, this setting will be lost and uh, your pinning will be lost. And you're not uh, so that's why you cannot do uh, live migration when uh, doing CPU pinning. You have to start and stop the system for it to be able to read this file. As you saw here, we had set it for zero to one. Uh, see us here into one and now uh, we'll go and change uh, it to two and three uh, instead so we're going to go into the uh, uh, vmcfg file again and just change it to two and three instead so showing that now the system will be running on two and three instead uh, so let's just right remove this and then uh, adding uh, two and three and then start up the system again so we then have um, showing that uh, the system will then be running on on cpus uh, two and, th and three instead uh, and then 
and start the system. And then we can log in again or look at the OBS server itself, the vCPU list, and now you see it's running on two and three. So this is actually the way you do uh, CPU pinning in OVM. Uh, please drop me a comment and I will see if I can create a tutorial on that. Um, uh, I also added some links below where you can find some more information about uh, uh, doing CPU pinning in OVM. So have a nice day. Okay, cheers.